YouTube, this is Wolf Reviews here, and today I am reviewing the Gigabyte Z68 motherboard. So basically the motherboard is bought, again, from uh, dabs.com for around 74.99, I think, so basically about 75 quid. Um, yeah, so it's equipped with the much anticipated Intel R smart response technology, which basically allows the user to experience system performance similar to SSD systems. Um, and the Intel uh, Smart Response Technology uh, works by using uh, intelligent block-based uh, catching and frequently used applications to improve system performance and responsiveness. With the built-in visuals, um, the Gigabyte 768 motherboards offer support in, in several second-generation Intel core things like that. So um, if you're having any trouble, you know, you can always go back to them and they'll help you out. And you might even get upgrades sometimes. Um, and the uh, the quick sync video is also up to two times faster processing than any other solution and stuff like that. So um, it gives you a very fast uh, conversion of video files for portable media players and online sharing. So let's have a little look at the uh, unboxing of it all. Okay, initially you've got your, so let's see what this is, your warning systems, basically telling where to plug things in and when not to. You have your manuals, more manuals, <laughs> um, this is your installation guide, so I'll be having a look at that in a little bit. And your multilingual installation guide as well. Um, can't say I will be using this because all I speak is English. And that's on the floor. <laughs> so here is your uh, metal guard um, for all your different ports and things like that. Um, good quality. Uh, I've got to be careful not to bend the little prongs because um, it would be a bit awkward for installation. You've got your installation cables here. And a nifty little sticker to put on the box. Let's have a look. So, it's packaged quite nicely. And it seems very, very safe this so far. Let's be careful getting this out. Okay. Right, you can't see very well because the lighting. Uh, let's pull this down a bit more. There we go. So, right about here are your RAM drives. I think you have one, two, three, four drives. Here is where you install your uh, processor, and yeah, got a few little things in there. More slots for RAM. You've got your graphics card uh, sections, and your other ports at the back there. I'll give you another look at this in a moment once I have unwrapped it. So here is the product unboxed. It looks nice so far, and for seventy-four pounds. I think it's a very good value for money. Again, it was delivered fairly quickly, and I'll give you another show of the uh, different ports you've got. So you've got your classic VGA and your HDMI. This is for your surround sound here, things like that. You've got your uh, USB ports, a few more, your Ethernet ports, and your sound, video, and audio ports. Very helpful there. <laughs> so again, that's your uh, processing area with a little. Nice little protective case. Do remember to take that off when you use it, otherwise you might damage things. <laughs> in fact, you probably will. Um, here is where you put your RAM in. It's quite easy to do. You simply click these to the side, uh, place in your RAM, and easy enough said and done. Next to it is where you put in your fan system. So whatever you've got, you put it in there. Let's have a look around. Yep. Okay, so installing your um, processor, you've got your four pin holes there. It's quite easy to do really. When you place it on, obviously you need to put your processor in first, but the fan, it's easy enough to, and honestly, it goes straight on top. You've got your two clips either side, and you just press it down in conjunction with each other, and it then just plugs in right here. So, that's enough said about this. Um, I will be showing videos of the running of this and possibly the build. And yeah, thank you for watching and please leave feedback and subscribe. This is Wolf Reviews over and out.